So the next thing we want to do is give you a look into how adaptive cards are evolving and becoming even more powerful. We're talking about adaptive card based loop components. We announced the developer private preview of this tech in the spring at Build and are happy to share with you how we're moving things forward with our partners using an integration being built by SAP as an example. In this preview demo, an account executive has just been notified in SAP S4 HANA Cloud that a customer's sales order is blocked due to a credit limit check. The account executive contacts the credit manager in a Microsoft Teams chat to ask for approval of a credit limit increase. The chat automatically includes a loop component showing relevant account information. The credit manager receives this message, and in the loop component, the credit manager can view information like key metrics and requested steps. The loop component can be copied in Teams and pasted in Outlook as well, making it easy for the credit manager to communicate the request with other stakeholders. The credit manager can approve the new credit limit right in the email without leaving the flow of her work. And since loop components are always live and in sync, this update gets automatically reflected in the component in Teams and in SAP S4 HANA Cloud. The order is now unblocked. You can see from this example that we're making the adaptive card experience even richer. They're live, they're portable across Teams and Outlook, and embeddable anywhere. If you're an SAP S4 HANA customer, these new features are available through SAP's early adopter program. We're working with several partners in the developer private preview to enable a wide range of scenarios with adaptive card-based loop components. We're pleased to announce that these scenarios will be available to end users in a public preview beginning in the first quarter of 2023.